Yeah, let's uh, let's do some late night starter as I went a bit overboard with uh, unpacking, but it was fun. Uh, yeah, you know the drill. If you're on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video. That's that's it. <laughs> it's late at night. I'm not gonna go into the hole. Uh, yeah, that big sentence, which I should probably condense at some point and memorize, but I'm lazy. Alright. I guess settle in. I need to remember what I was doing. Okay, I should probably bring up the wiki as well. It's a good habit. Yeah, I mean, the game has great music. It's just the one thing that I don't like. It's not- it's got nothing to do with the music, it's more that it stops. And, uh, then you just kind of left in silence for a while, which... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of wish it just constantly played. That would be my one complaint, but otherwise solid. Okay. Wine is off. Yeah, I do remember that. We are going to do... One sec. I'm gonna get a bunch of money today. I'm not gonna age this wine, so... I'm just gonna get some strawberries and just, you know, make strawberry wine. Because I don't think I have enough ancient fruit. E probably not, but anyway. Alright. So, yeah, uh, let's go to the other one. Oh wow, okay, this is all- yeah, this is gonna be like a day of money making. It'd be nice to get a million, because then, hey, I'm, I'm hitting the goal. It's like roughly, it'll leave winter um, for decoration, and then I'll be on point. So, let's hope that pans out. But yeah, I mean, it looks like next week I'll start Animal Crossing. I can't- I can't see this going beyond next week, like... I feel like I'm gonna get this finished this weekend, like, the final... The final stretch of this. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring something to actually put in here. Okay, uh... How much ancient fruit do I have? I have enough to fill the rest, so... I'll bring all of it. And then I'll see what's left over. Kind of looking forward to checking out New Leaf. Like, I know it's not going to be... It's not going to be as extensive as New Horizons was in terms of customization. But I know that from a content perspective, it has more to offer. So, should be fun. Okay. Here we go. Money! 
Look at the money, look at the money, look at the money. Holding the button. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, see, I need to be careful because I don't want to put it in the bottom one accidentally. Okay, in the interest of that, let's start doing it here. And as usual, if I do miss one, let me know, because it is late at night for me, and that's probably going to happen. Let's face it. Did I miss one? I think we're okay. Alright, that's that lot done. How much is that wine going to make me? <laughs> Not as much as I would have liked, but I, I guess it's fine. I'm kind of curious if, like, the diamonds on their own would have made me more. Should have probably kept track of that anyway. It's possible that they may have made me more money on their own. Well, it's too late now. Or is it going to bother me so much that I'm going to restart the day and check? Okay, you know what? Uh, diamond starter. Let's see. So, diamonds are worth 750. And I had like a hundred and sixty times seven fifty gold. The diamonds would have made me more money. Twenty thousand more money, roughly. Cause of strawberry wine, which interesting. Hmm. Surprise, I mean, it's, it's, it's 20,000 negligible. Would you call 20,000 negligible? I don't know. That's assuming I did the math right. Oh wow, it's already 1.40 p.m. Jeez. Okay. Uh... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe it's only worth it if I'm doing ancient fruit. Anyway. I didn't have enough ancient fruit, so you know, it's like... Get use out of it. Just getting this out for now. It's not fruit day yet, so we can relax. Truffles, look at them. <laughs> uh, so much truffles. Okay.
I almost filled up the whole thing. I am happy with the farm, visually. I think this is up there in terms of like how nice looking I've made farms in the past. I think most of the other ones I've done, they've been focused around money a lot more, and so they didn't really take liberties in terms of laying stuff out. Yeah, I need more. Okay, put this away. There's still more to do, but, I mean, for the time being. It does look pretty nice. One thing I will do today that I have to do because it's part of getting cosmetics hopefully it works oh, I missed the cheese spot whoops two of these. can't go that way. It's hard to see. I still have 10 more beehives to make. But I mean, for the most part, this is done. Or maybe I made them and I put them away already. I don't remember. Okay, look, before we jump to this... Back in a minute. Got a little bit of time. Where's Sophia for reference? At the farm. Okay. We'll be able to make it. Assuming I can find her. Apparently she's on the farm. Where? Where is she? No, she's in the backwoods. Where is... What? Uh-oh. No, she's, she's heading this way.
crap. I might not make it. I have... Like, a minute to find her. I really hate how inaccurate this map can be sometimes. It just falls you into believing. I might have to let this one go. Oh, no, there she is. If I can make it in 20 seconds... Uh, 20 seconds, I may have fucked up. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? I'm not going to make it in time. 10 seconds. This is a waste of money. Game, please. Oh, why does this have fence have to be here? It's closed. Oh, oh no, I made it. I made it. I made it just at the cutoff. Okay, cool. This is why I wanted to be here. Because there's stuff here that's... That's distinct, and you can't get it any other way. Like these tree things, like I think there's only one way to get them. It's fine. There's a few things that are exclusive, as far as cosmetics go. That's dead in the middle. Oh, what do you mean? No, I say good. Good, 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 good. Okay. This might get pricey. Okay, um, I want more trees. The gravestone is another one that you can't really get from the catalog. Oh, what? What a waste. Couldn't hang on for one more second. Okay. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no! I wish- what- I wish I would let you continue. The thing is, the move the movie's like I imagine the clothes now. It's like I, I came here just to use this. It's like such a big waste of money. Come on, hang in there. Okay, that worked. I just- I just want these trees, because they're useful for decoration. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I'll try and get one of the Junimo plushies. I, I doubt I'll get it. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> That's skill right there. Alright, got it. I got room for two more. Alright. I just want the trees. 
I'm pretty sure I can place these outside. Oh, nice. Please hang on. Nah, that's gonna drop. Oh no, it's on the conveyor belt now. I mean, I could go for the movie ticket. Then that way, at the very least, I get one of them refunded. Ah, oh, you suck. It's not gonna make it. Alright, uh, yeah, I don't want to waste any more money, so let's just, um, she likes cotton candy. We can still watch the movie as long as I'm here, so. This is the one time I get to read text again. Mysterium. A faint silhouette in the dark. Hmm, a little boring. Sophia's dozing off. Sophia's enjoying her cotton candy. That should wake her up. The desolate, unknown void of space where untold horrors await. So cute. What's so cute? The movie? <laughs> or something else from before? A variety of disjointed, otherworldly scenes play out. You must tell your friends to see Mysterium tonight. Or I will visit you in your sleep. The movie has concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Just them watching a movie in the theater. Ah, uh, yeah. It's always nice to go see a movie with someone. I think I'd rate that a 5 out of 10. Yeah, she, she didn't enjoy herself, but it's fine. I got my cosmetic trees, so I'm happy. Um, these can go out here. Oh, these are different. This one's deluxe and this one's exotic. It's visually different. Anyway. And there's a June in my plush, so. I mean, these days, I don't know, I don't... The movie has to be extra good to warrant to go see it, because it's just... I love the rationale of movie theaters. It's like, oh no, people aren't seeing movies as much as they used to. We're not making as much money as we used to anymore. You know what? Let's crank up the price so then we cut... Our, well, we make more than what we used to. It's like, that's the rationale. It's like, we lost business, so let's crank up the prices so we make the same amount of money we did before. It's like, brilliant. No joke, it's like, the price it costs to go see a movie, you could spend the same amount and go to a fancy restaurant and have like a really nice dinner for two. And probably go rent like a movie. Or pay for your, like, your monthly subscription to some streaming service. Like, that's just the reality of it nowadays. It's just, it's so crazy how expensive it is. 
But there are some movies that are worth it, going to see it on the big screen. It's just, I think, they don't come as often as they used to. Like, the next one I'm gonna go see is the Mario movie. I have a little bit of time left, let's just go- Oh, no, see, there's stuff to get. Is the Mario movie in 3D? Uh, I have no idea, I mean, they haven't said anything about it. It's still three months away from being released, I want to say. But yeah, I mean, you know, I, I grew up with Mario and... Probably go see it with the niece. She'll probably enjoy it. Super great fun. Yeah, I mean, look, like, I have my critiques about the movie, but I, I truly think that I will enjoy it regardless. But, you know, that critique comes from, like, a place of... of love. Just... It's been a massive part of, uh, my childhood, and I guess, like, just... not just the childhood, it's just... fond memories, you know? Whoops. Yeah, I mean, eh, not bad. Let's see how much we made. Yeah, not as much as I had hoped. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for more, but I mean, it's fine. Honestly, yeah, I mean... Ever since, uh, like, I saw this discussion on the internet talking about just the fact that the same six or seven movies are being produced and that they don't take risks on movies anymore and you can kind of predict what's going to happen in a movie within the first 15 to 20 minutes, like, uh, yeah, I guess it's just been harder to kind of justify to go see a movie in this, in the cinemas, because it's just... It's a pretty accurate uh, an analysis of, like, the state of things. Okay, today is a fruit day. Oh uh, yeah, crap. I forgot about this. It's alright, it was only one day. We're okay. I mean, I think these days the entertainment that I'm most excited for is games, to be honest. And TV shows, to some degree. On the topic of games, I did um, manage to get a copy of uh, The Last of Us Remastered and God of War Ragnarok for like a very fair price. So I'll probably play them soon. But I mean, the game that I'm looking forward to right now, and it's only a couple days away, is uh, Pizza Tower. Because that just takes me back to, like, the days of Warrior Land on the Game Boy, and... Yeah, that was, like, a massive part of my childhood, that game. And the art style in it is, like, very reminiscent of, like, 90s Nickelodeon cartoons, so... It's, it's perfect.
gotta look up Pizza Tower. Yeah, it's 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 an indie game, so it's not made by like a major developer or anything, but um I saw a streamer that I follow play a demo of it like a very long time ago. But the the game is like in the game style of Warrior Land. It's just like a platformer and the character is like just kind of eccentric and a little crazy looking. And it just it just looks like a nineties cartoon. So, I'll be playing that in a couple of days. It'll be fun. Nintendo hasn't done anything with Wario Land, so... Or well, that, I guess, that style of Wario game in a very long time, so... Have I, have I ever played Farmville? Or what, you mean that game that was on Facebook? I have not. The reason I like this game so much is because, uh, it's inspired by Harvest Moon, which was a game that goes all the way back to the Super Nintendo, and that's something that I played, so that's why I enjoy this, but... Yeah, to be honest, I want as little to do with anything that, uh, is related to Facebook for a multitude of reasons. I'm not gonna get in into them now because I feel like it's like a bit of a downer of a conversation, but you no. Know, I recognize that people use Facebook to connect with family and communicate, but like, yeah, there's so many studies that show that like everything they do is inherently bad for society, more or less. So. You played it when you were in grade 3, the game is dead. Yeah, I mean, those games typically have a shelf life. I never I never played it, because, again, I was just never into Facebook or anything related to it. Or those games where, like, you would get a notification that says, you know, so-and-so has, like, tagged you or challenged you in this game. I just, I never replied to that stuff. And Facebook is dead as well. No, it's, I mean, it's still kicking, but I think... The days of which everyone was on there is is over. Like, I think people, at least from, let's say, the millennial age group and under, um, they're really only there just to communicate with people that, you know, refuse to get off the platform. Um, but that network effect is, is kind of hard to go against. Facebook had internal stats showing it gave young teens depression. Oh, no, no, no. Like, that—that that is 100% for real. Like, they've done a, mul a multitude of studies showing the effects it had on mental health. Um, I had to do, like, a bunch of research on that for a while. And, like, they commissioned studies, and the result was always that, like, yeah, Instagram is horrible for teenagers, and um, Facebook is horrible for, uh, for everyone. Like, alright, just to give a TLDR of it, like, the reason it was so bad is because it gives a skewed perception of what people's real lives are. Because when you're posting on Facebook, you're only really posting a snapshot of what your life is. You're not really gonna post, like, when you're having a bad day. Most people don't anyway, right? Like, they tend to post happy moments or, like, low-key trying to flex to some degree. And so what ends up happening is, like, people get this skewed perception of what, what everyday life is, and they tend to believe that their life is worse than what it really is, and that, like, other people are living a much happier life. But when the reality of it is, is, like, everyone experiences ups and downs, and you're not going to share them on Facebook. And so Facebook will just present you with a very skewed perception, whether positive or negative, and... If it presents you as something overtly positive, and you already have, like, this perception where you're not doing well, then that's a net negative for your, your mental health. And, you know, if you get presented with negative stuff, then it brings you down as well. So it's like, the majority of the time, it's doing stuff to your mental health that's not great. And that's just Facebook. Like, Instagram has a whole slew of issues with, like, 
um, confidence and image, right? Like, yeah, it's just... I hope to see that company fall in my lifetime, to be honest, and, like, I'll, that's all I'm gonna say on it. But, you know, I, I try to say this to everyone, is just get off anything that they own as soon as possible. Because... To quote a young Mark Zuckerberg, I can't believe people are stupid enough to give me their, their data. Paraphrasing, but you know. <laughs> Just take that into account. Like, the dude that owned the platform once said something like that. But yeah, it, it's falling. But I think the reason it's still afloat is just because... They're relying on the basic human need of wanting to communicate and having a place to belong amongst peers. And that's why it's like they rely on basic human emotion to make people a product, basically. And I think it's disgusting. But, you know, that's, that's just me. Anyway. I, I firmly believe that it's it's not going to be around forever. And I'm, I'm not going to get on a high horse here saying I never used their stuff. I have, like... I have used Facebook and their stuff before. Um, and it just came from the need of wanting to communicate with people, but, like, at a certain point... I was like, nah, this is just... nah. Gotta get off it. People don't just give their data these days. They pay for companies to take it. Yeah, I know. I mean, the old... There's a, there's a saying that's kind of true, is like... If you're not paying for something, odds are you're the product. It's not for everything, but... In this day and age, that's, that's the truth about it. Is, yeah. Typically, if something is free, it's probably because companies are getting something out of having you on that platform. Like, they'll have some kind of metric that is useful to them. So, that's all. I mean, that's just a reality of it. Like, you can't escape it to some degree. Like, you're always going to have your personal data sold to some extent, right? Like, I'm not saying do everything to, like, stop it. But I think in the case of Facebook... Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like they're a special case. <laughs> Hashtag capitalism. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, like, hyper-capitalism. But yeah, I mean, my, my mentality on it is just, like, I'll try and tell people not to use it, but I'm not gonna get up in arms and, you know, look down on someone just because they use Facebook or any of that stuff. Listen, chat, I, I use Instagram just because it's, like, it's a good way to market streams. And I'll admit that. It's just one of those things. But as far as my personal life goes, like, I'm completely disconnected off anything that company owns. So yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll never, like, frown upon someone just wanting to communicate with people. But I will express why I, on a personal level, don't use it. Streaming isn't professional for me, but, like, it's a professional level in the context that I use it. Facebook, wait, is the most blatant about wanting to invade privacy. You don't use Facebook anymore, you still check out Instagram. Yeah, I mean... Again, I'm not going to fault anyone for that. But just know that, you know, it's just, it's not good for you. <laughs> you 
you use WhatsApp and you can't, I can't stop you. Please stop you. Again, I'm not going to fault you for using WhatsApp. It's just, it, it, the reason you're using WhatsApp is because you want to communicate with people. That's the reason. And it's because people as a de facto standard are using it. And it's very difficult to tear people away from that. And so, I don't fault you for wanting to stay in touch with people. That's just, it's such a basic human necessity. Like, people are just wired that way. Like, you can't change that. And for me to, like, criticize anyone for that is just, it's stupid. So, yeah, it's, it's just, that's just how it is. But I will say, like, Try to change people's minds and get off it. I mean, me and my brothers use Telegram, but the rest of our family uses, like, uh, anything owned by Meta, so, yeah. But, you know, I've, I've been vocal about it. I've said, don't use it, and they still use it, so there's very little I can do in that regard. Because the people they want to stay in touch with use it as well, and that's, that's the power of the social... Network. Is that an Australian company? Is what an Australian company? I said Meta, not Beta. Meta. Should I put it with, like, an American inflection, like, say, better? Would you understand me better if I talk like this? <laughs> I don't even know how that sounds like. I don't know, I don't know what dialect, like, that's supposed to be. It's probably, it, it always, it always ends up southern when you try to do an American accent. It's just the reality of it. Never say that again. Yeah, I know. Like, it's okay. It's gonna put people off from... from, uh, the UK. It's fine. You work up to that? Work up to what? I also had game background though, so that's why you missed it. Ah, fair enough. Okay, let's load these up. Me speaking with an American accent uh, again, just like work up to what is what I'm I'm saying. Like what what do you mean? I don't believe that happened. Also, I keep doing this. I need to go bottom to top, not top to bottom. You work up to me saying better, yeah, because there was confusion about what I was saying. So I had to say it with that inflection, so then it was understood. It's like, sometimes Siri, don't you dare wake up, by the way. Sometimes Siri doesn't understand what I'm saying, so I have to, like, say it that way. And then it understands me every time. It was jarring? Yeah, I bet. I mean, the American accent is jarring, so... I'm not surprised there. Oh, I missed one. Did I bring enough for this? Probably not. I think I'm short a few. But on the plus side, I've caught up. Kinda.
you just work up and I'm choosing violence for you already. Yeah, again, like, I point you in the direction of, uh, yep, sounds about right. There's always the option not to be violent. filling this in properly. Wait. You have an amazing accent. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, it, that's the thing with American accents is like, I don't know what's considered a good one and what's considered a bad one. When we're, when we're talking about the non- um, you know, extreme stereotypical ones, right? Like, of course there are the ones where when you you try to imitate an American accent, that's the go-to, right? I'm not talking about those ones. I just have no way to gauge it. Wait. Meta was last year's biggest underperforming stock. It's probably because they were focusing on alternative ways of making money that not everyone believes in, but let's not go down that path. <laughs> By the way, Sandy, have you seen um, that 90s show at all? It released, like, over the weekend. The one on Netflix. Yeah, the one on Netflix. It's like a successor to that 70s show that has guest appearances from the original cast. I mean, it's it's alright. Like, it was never going to be the same, but I think they got the tone right. Like, it's something that I think you just gotta give a chance, but... I mean, that 70s show was never, like, amazing either. It was... It had its problems and was average. But I think the humor's there if you appreciate the original. You never watched the original. Yeah, that's probably why you clicked off it. But if you appreciate the original, I think... The foundation of it is more or less the same. Not a sitcom guy. Yeah, I mean, that that's fair. Sitcoms are kind of just like a comfort thing for me. I don't watch all of them, but... I like ones in particular where there's like, um... Like someone that's sarcastic or overtly angry. Anyway, the, the reason I bring it up is just because there's a character in that 90s show that has a very, very thick Midwestern accent, which I don't think was ever a thing on that 70s show. So that's all. That's the only, the only reason I bring it up. Because Sandy was talking about, like, having a good accent. And that character comes to mind. Facetiously, of course. The Last of Us show isn't bad on HBO. Oh, no, I've heard good things about it. It's supposed to be, like, one of the truest video game adaptations that have been made. 
I haven't played the game, so I'm not spoiling myself on it yet. But I did buy the game, so... It's there. I found it at a fair price. The, uh, the remake. Quick thing for this game. Isn't my character technically worse than the corporation? What do you mean? You walked away for five minutes and you come back to hear your name. I must be coming for blood. No, I was... I asked you if you had seen that 90s show on Netflix. That came out last weekend. Because they've, they've got a character called... Uh, I forget her name, but she has a very thick Midwestern accent. That's all. Which I don't think was ever a thing in the original show, but... From all my tetra farming. I mean, the whole point is, like... The reason I'm better than the corporation is because I care about the town and I've done stuff to improve the town, whereas in the corporation I've, has actively done things to kind of crush small business and, uh... You know, become a monopoly. Just... Typical corporation stuff. You're back doing your once a month checking. Once a month checking of what? <laughs> the video game is better, like the game is a 10, the show is an 8. Still, but that's... that's still... Given how bad adaptations are, that's still a pretty big win. You never liked that 70s show. You've seen clips, and Kitty and her husband kind of represents a lot of Wisconsinites. Right, got ya. Yeah, I mean, I appreciated that, that show just because of Red. Just angry dad. Just, that's a trope that I enjoy. Oh, Twitch. Felt like logging once in a while. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, Twitch is uh, certainly different because of all the ad stuff. Hold up, let me check something real quick. I'm pretty sure I did it. Okay, I did. Just double checking. If you play the game, you have a deeper connection to the characters because you play the game instead of watching them. Oh, no, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, cause do you even know what that redeem is for? Alright, I'll tell you. Like, I played Warrior Games recently. And so, that comes from me, like, when I used to play Warrior Games or, like, Mario Party, I would pick Warrior, and I would just do a Warrior impression, and the Warrior impression always starts with, Oh, yes! And then I would say something dirty as Warrior. Thought it was a sound alert? Nah. It's just, it's just telling me to make that noise, that's all. But, you know, I, I would I would play Mario Party, and I'd be like, Oh, yes, it's time to fuck! <laughs> Just shit like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> when the minigame would start, and... The point of it was, it was just to kind of derail people enough that they would get distracted. Or he's like the creepy uncle in Mario World. I oh, know he is, and I love him. He's, he's great. Hey, yes, you rub garlic on your body. Yes! 
Oh my god. You know what I like to do? I like to rub garlic all over my body. Yes! Get all slippery. <laughs> right, I'll stop. What year am I on? Year, th year four. Year four. You hate that Chris Pratt is in you, Mario. Yeah, I don't think he does a very good job. But, I mean, the question is who would you get to replace him? It's, it's a very difficult thing to answer. Like, we know that he's not right for it, but it's kind of hard to pick anyone that could replace Charles, really. I think the movie will be fine. Like, it'll, it'll be entertaining. It'll get laughs. The original voice actor, because the man's not dead. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't know. It's possible that Charles can't do that. It seems like, from what I've gathered of his voice acting for Mario, like, he can only do key phrases, but he can't really, like, stay in character and make it sound you know, cohesive for an extended amount of time. I don't... Uh, I don't think it's a pay thing, because I think that we would be paying Chris Pratt more. I don't... I don't find that to be a valid argument. If it was a matter of money, they wouldn't have gotten a Hollywood star. Like, if it was truly in the interest of saving money, they would have gotten Charles. I think it's one of two things. It's... it's marketing. But also, I mean, based of what I've seen of Charles, no, no disrespect, but like, he just says like sentences. He doesn't really stay in character for an extended amount of time. Maybe he hasn't been given the opportunity, but that's just the vibes I get from it. Like, I don't think he'd be able to give emotion as Mario. I don't know. If they wanted to truly save money, they should have gotten me as Warrior. Yeah, but, alright, I, I admit that my Warrior, like, it's a little more... The voice is a bit deeper, like, really, Warrior's voice is a little more nasally, but I use that for my Waluigi. I'm like, oh, yes! Oh my god, yes! See, that's my Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi, uh, yeah, just having a good time. <laughs> anyway. I had so much fun playing as, uh, as Warrior in the uh, Warrior Land Shake It. That was like the last Warrior game I played, and it was so much fun playing that. Have I heard the Waluigi raps? Probably. Okay, uh, that's all the morning stuff done. I'm getting distracted. Like, I need to go about my day in a normal way. Yeah? Okay. We're good. Time to look alright, Mama Bear. See ya later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Can you look them? I mean, you can, but I probably won't watch them now. Like, it'll be a later thing. Oh wait, no you can't. You can't link them. Because I remove. I had to remove links because right now on Twitch there's a massive influx of bots. And they're just spamming shit, so I had to disable being able to post links completely, because... Yeah, it, it got out of hand, so... You cannot currently. Yeah, it's a thing going around right now, unfortunately.
um, yeah. And I will be playing Warrior Land 2 soon, so. It's not the last time I will, uh, I will do that voice. But it's kind of funny because I've been doing that voice since I was a, uh, a teenager, more or less. And it, it just, I've been streaming for six years now and it just hadn't come up. And it's, what was it? It was like WarioWare, the game that came out in 2020. And, you know, I could have sworn I had done the voice before and I hadn't. So. <laughs> it was kind of funny, just people's reactions to just me out of nowhere, just behaving like that. Did that voice ever get me girls? I mean, it got me laughs. So whether that worked directly, I don't know. Hard to say. No warrior emote? What do you mean no warrior emote? What do you mean? There's two of them. There's that one. <laughs> and that one. Oh wait, and there's that one too. Lies! I'm also getting a t-shirt printed of, like, Warrior's face and from the Game Boy era, and it says, oh, yes! <laughs> you can't unlock it for free with points. What do you mean? It's like, it's a follower remote, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, one of them is a reward for donating bits. And the other one is just a follower emote. And the other, the one that shakes is a subscriber emote, I think. So there's like... I'm At the very least, I made the one that's, you know, that one for free. Yeah, I mean, I put a cooldown on the Wario thing because I know people will spam it. But I think when I'm playing Wario games, I'm going to make it so I'll stay in character for at least a minute. But right now, like, I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> but I'll try. PC just for these mods alone. Oh no, it's worth it. Or maybe the alternative is you can get a Steam Deck. Like, that's like a Switch, but it lets you play games like this. It was fun, um, because... Typically, at the end of the year, I edit an end of year highlight video, just stitching all the clips together. But for 2022, I like just made Warrior the host of that. So that was kind of fun, just doing like a little, little bit of a voice for that. And I took cutscenes from uh, Warrior, Warrior, Warrior Wear Gold. That's the one. So that's one of the few that has like a bunch of animated cutscenes that you can just take. Do I only play on PC? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I got a Switch, I got a PS5. Um, they have basically every single retro console you can imagine, with a few exceptions here and there. Like, Elden Ring, I played on PS5. 
Void root excites you more than it should. Why does it excite you more than it should? I assume that says what do I do PS5 game wise. Um, let's see. I played God of War on the. Well, okay. I lump it in with PS4 games, but like, I did specifically Demon Souls, both Spider Man games, Elden Ring. I'm gonna do God of War Ragnarok. I'm gonna do The Last of Us on there. Um,. That's more or less in terms of PS5 exclusive, but then I've just been playing a bunch of PS4 games on there. Like, I like playing Diablo, so I played Diablo 2 on console. It has cross-play with PC, so... Um, doing the Binding of Isaac on there. Just because I could start a fresh file. Eventually I'll get around to Hades on there. But I mean, most of the Sony story-driven games, like, I, I do want to check out. Um, like, I have Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West kind of sitting here, but I just... I ha I'll make time for it this year. But, yeah, I mean, I appreciate all kinds of games. Like, it's, for me, it's... It's a form to relax, it's a form of escapism, and because I'm, like, into graphic design and... I'm just, like, a geek for cinematics and visuals and all that kind of shit. Like, it's a medium that I enjoy, and, you know, that's why I play a mix of games. It's like, you'll see me playing games like this, which, you know, are a bit more laid back, and then I'll be hitting my head against a brick wall in games like Elden Ring. How old is Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley is, like, at least a decade old. I don't know what year it came out in, but... It's one of those games that were... was developed by one person, so... Wait, why... Why doesn't this let me continue? Crap. Hang on. There's something wrong here. There's supposed to be a passageway here, but it's not letting me go on. Why not? There's something blocking. And I'm not sure what, but you're supposed- there it is. Jeez. That was annoying. Horizon sucks story-wise, but it's good combat. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate stuff that's good combat. It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be amazing. I just know that I've heard good things about it, one way or another. And yeah, I mean, I like playing weird shit as well. <laughs> like, the game I played on Friday, that was not really a game, but it was... Ugh, I have not laughed so hard in a very long time. I laughed so much that I thought I was going to be sick the next day, just not have a voice. But yeah, that was funny. I played this game that was, um... All you do is you, you're able to simulate battles in it and you pick units and then they kind of have at it and they make it very cinematic so you can control a camera and I just set up some ridiculous stuff and it was hilarious I won't say what but you know it does pique your interest you can watch the replay okay we're out The gems are done, but I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I should probably... Sell, sell, sell. Sell. Alright. I have a literal box of games at my feet, but like... Let me see what's here from PS5. 
Oh yeah, see, I'm playing through the Yakuza franchise. So, like, I've got the Yakuza games to get through. Which, I'm up to Yakuza 5. Um, Disco Elysium? When did I get that? Dark, I got the Dark Souls trilogy. Devil May Cry, what else? See, there's so much stuff here. Some of the stuff has been gifted to me, like I haven't bought it all. It's just like people saying, hey, you should play this. You'd probably enjoy it. It would make for a good stream. I mean, okay, I played Returnal. I played Ghost of Tsushima. I've got Nio. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Ratchet and Clank are Rift Apart. The Super Monkey Ball uh, remake. That was that was fun. I've got Hitman Three. Oh man. How old is the save file? Uh, I started it last year. But I mean, in terms of like hours played, I don't know, like eighty ish. It's like, alright, you can do the math. There's 96 days in a year. No, wait, not 96, hang on. There's 28, 56, 112, my bad. There's 112 days in a year, and one day roughly takes 20 to 25 minutes, depending on how quickly you do it. So you can probably figure it out, and then you multiply that by 4. You start on a farm that's like a pretty barren and it has just junks everywhere junk everywhere. Listen, it's it's like two past two AM, so like I, I can't do math properly. So if that Jesus will is because I didn't do my math properly, it, listen, it's it's late. And it's the start of my long weekend. <laughs> That's how fast I'm doing all this. Why? It's like I play for a few hours a night. Also, what helps is like, people tend to enjoy these streams quite a bit and... You know. That does give me motivation to play it more. So like the little, the little tip videos I've made on TikTok have gone viral, which is nice, but you know, it's not not what I was going for initially. Oh, this is done. Nice. And you do you know where this fast? Oh, but like. This comes from me playing this a lot, and I guess I, I... I know what I need to do. Like, the whole thing, for example, like, I'm constantly running at maximum move speed, and just... It's a bunch of stuff. I'm not playing the most optimal I can play, but... I mean, at the very least, it's going well. No, I mean, the stuff that's gone viral is just before that. It's, it's actually not the one that has the JoJo reference in it. It's the other ones, but... Like, for context, I think before I put those Stardew videos out, it was like... I had a hundred followers or something. It wasn't much. And I was, on, I was honestly, like, thinking YouTube was the better way to go in terms of shorts. Until I saw the difference between, like, what happens when something goes semi-viral on TikTok, TikTok and something that goes semi-viral on YouTube. It's like a difference of about 50,000 views. 
if not more. I mean, it's nice, but, you know, it doesn't really translate to much, ultimately. Like, I think people are still here regardless of that. <laughs> I just enjoy playing this game, and it's always been fun to stream it, because I know a lot of people enjoy these more laid-back streams. Would I ever try Factorio? Have I tried it? Uh, I mean, I've seen it. It's not really my thing. I think that one leans more on the micromanagement and design side of things, which... I'm not really as good at that. Like, I think the reason I like this is it strikes a balance between... ...doing that stuff. But also, like, you have a side where you can make things look nice. Whereas in Factorio is purely, like, for someone that wants to, like, maximize and has that kind of brain. Which, to some degree, I do, but not always. I feel like that one would feel like more work than anything else. Um, but yeah, I I've honestly been torturing myself with games for like the last two and a half years. <laughs> just roguelikes, difficult games, you name it. Just felt like December, the tradition is usually to play Stardew, and I used it as an opportunity to just be like, alright, let's just do this. And I'm gonna play Animal Crossing after this, so... It'll, it'll be like this for a while, but admittedly I'll start throwing in like... I haven't decided yet, but it's either going to be God of War Ragnarok or The Last of Us. One of those two. So it'll be like something story driven and then afterwards it'll be like something chill for a while. But eventually I will go... I have something in mind. For going back to like difficult stuff. I just need to think about it a bit more. And, uh, because I want to make it something that I, like, make videos for on YouTube. And not just, like, highlight videos, like, actually making something. So. But, yeah, I gotta think about it a bit more. Animal Crossing. Oh, it's gonna be New Leaf. I haven't played New Leaf before. Plus, it'll let me, uh, take advantage of the capture card that I got for the DS a bit more. I mean, I guess we're at the end of the season, so I don't have to do this. I don't know to what extent I'm going to play that, but the, the thing with Animal Crossing is, like, you can only put a set amount of time into it per day. Because after a certain point, like, you're not really doing anything. What the hell was that grid thing? It's a mod that lets you see the radius of, like... ...effects. So you can see... Like, this is the pickup radius of these, that's all. And it works the same for sprinklers, like, before I place it, I can see... ...how much it's gonna cover. And scarecrows. Oh yeah, right, I know diamonds now. Okay, um... I didn't harvest the honey, did I? I mean, I guess there's no point, because it's not going to be done in the next two days, so let me just put them down anyway. There you are. Alright, I mean, yeah, I probably should have done that sooner. Anyway. That's my honey farm. Oh, 
What was that bone machine in the corner? Uh, that's in vanilla. That's... It's something that crushes bones and makes, uh, fertilizer out of it. Yeah, it's a Switch version now. Why? The Switch version has that. It has the bone thing. That's not something that's a mod, it's part of vanilla. stone. I have to make like another million. Oh yeah, I should probably go get the thing. I need to go trade my ruby. I'm running low on spicy eel. Am I going to play more Elden Ring? I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to do a, a mage playthrough because I did Warrior, but it's, it's a bit of an investment and there's other stuff that I want to get to before that. with it is like I had so much fun with it but th that's like a 100 hour commitment unless I straight up just grind it every day for like multiple hours on end. I have other plans. I mean, the Zelda's coming out this year, that's kind of the thing. It's like, I think my big adventure game this year will be that, more or less. So it's, it's, it's kind of tight timing, like, for this month I wanted to do Stardew. Um, I mean, next month I, ha I have a couple of games that I want to check out, and then March it's like, there's really not much time left before the Zelda comes out. Surprised I'm not using bombs. Uh, I mean... It's fine. Like, nothing's really gonna attack me here, and yeah.
I don't want to hurt my new friends. They're not. We came to a peace agreement. Using bombs would go against that. You know what I should do, though? I should consume one of these so I can go super fast. I run as fast as a horse. Don't dare tell you those in the original. No, they're not, but like... You know, I recommend any Stardew player... When they get their Crystallarium, just chuck a ruby in it, and then just... Trade every ruby you get for a spicy eel, and just have this constant supply of... Triple shot and spicy eel, so you can just move quickly. It's just too invaluable, you get stuff done quickly. You get from A to B quicker, it just means you get more done in a day. It adds up in the long run. Yeah, I mean, you can get Jade, like, that's the second best choice. But, like... Jade's only really useful to get stairs for the caverns, and outside of that, it doesn't really serve a purpose. Whereas in... Constantly being able to move at a super fast speed, yeah, that's useful no matter what. So that's why I prefer it. I feel like a broken record. I had to, like, type that out so many times. Uh, but anyway. I think I have enough Omni Geodes for the pond. That's what I was missing. I mean, look, like... What did I do in the first year? I got to floor 100 of the Skull Caverns twice. If I didn't mess up horribly, I could have gotten all the bundles. I got married. I kind of hit all the high points. The only one that I didn't hit is, like, making a million gold in, in year one. But that's that's really difficult. Like, I, I feel like I would have to look at speedrunning stuff to know how to do that. Who did I marry? One of the new NPCs, Sophia, who's into anime and is a big nerd. Well, I didn't know that going in, just to be clear. Like... The options from the new NPCs are as follows. And tell me you wouldn't have done the same thing. Claire, who works at the Jojo Mart. Just, like, cashier. Lance, you don't know of until way later. Uh, there's Victor, who's a rich boy. And kind of flexes quite a bit. Whether intentional or not. Olivia, who's his mother. Also rich person. Doesn't flex as much, but you know, it's there. And I find it weird that you can romance a mother and son, but, you know, whatever. Um, Martin also works at Jojo Mart. Scarlet doesn't really appear until later. And, yeah, then there's, uh, Sophia. So, I mean, out of those, who would you pick? It's not to say that, you know... Sophia isn't great, because she is, it's just... Without, without knowing anything in, in a vacuum, you know? That was my reasoning, I was like, I need to pick one of the new NPCs. Okay, Sophia, and then... I was like, oh no, she's great. Though I have heard people not like Sophia because they find her a little annoying. 
Like, she does too much kawaii stuff, so... I have heard that a few times. I like, overusing the term silly. But I don't know, it's like a, it's like a term of endearment. It's not... I don't think she says that to everyone. Anyway. Being greedy. I got way too many prismatic shots. I found eight of them in my first year. I'm currently working through a video that's going to go through my first hundred days in Stardew, and, like, it's taking a while, but... There's just there's so much stuff that happened. Good luck and bad luck. Stop flexing. Listen. For every, for every good thing that happened, there was something equally tragic that happened, like... The ice fishing thing. I got three. Three. <laughs> three algae in a row. And then I got a fish. And then I got a fourth algae. And it cost me the contest. Like, just that much bad luck. And not only did, not only did it happen in year one, it happened in year two and three as well. <laughs> so... You can't make that up. I've just played this game too much. That's why I'm able to get far ahead. And also playing multiplayer helped as well, because I was able to... L because in multiplayer, you straight up don't have extra time, like... Because the game doesn't pause, you have to make quick decisions. So that helped me quite a bit at getting better at time management in this game. Wait, why isn't this fairy rose, honey? Are these out of range? They can't be out of range. Maybe they are. No, what? Wait, what? Why Why are these honey? They're right next to a fairy rose. Okay, this bothers me. What, what does this look like? No, that should have been fairy rose honey. Why did that happen? Oh no, hang on. One of them was wild honey. That still shouldn't have happened. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't make you vomit too. Vomit for what? I'd Sorry. What did I say? What did I do? Or what, did, what didn't I do? You're gonna cry so hard you'll vomit. This reminds me of a streamer I watched. He said he once got so angry at Mario Kart that he threw up. Can't say I've ever experienced something like that. But at what? 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 What, what did I say specifically? I just, I, please, I, w I want to pick up the truffle. There we go. Jeez. Don't 
this prismatic shard flex was vomit worthy. You're bad at that game. What the? Finding a prismatic shard isn't. It's got nothing to do with skill. That's like a hundred percent luck. But if, the, if there's any testament of that spicy eel thing that I, I keep telling people to do, like, let that be part of that. Even worse. Yeah, but I have chaotic luck. Like, watch me long enough and you'll see. Like, I'll have stuff that happens that's ridiculous and really lucky or like I'll glitch a game. But then the stuff that happens is just equally unlucky. Stuff that you can't make up. Wait, that's already done? Okay, guess so. You're just impressed at what? <laughs> I- I'm like... I'm slightly above average in terms of playing this game, but I'm not amazing at it. It's like, the stuff that speedrunners do and... Anyone in that kind of community is just insane compared to anything I'll ever do. All I can do is make things look nice and provide, like, sardonic or, like, woody commentary. <laughs> okay, uh, what should my last ostrich be called? I think I've used all the famous ones, at least that I know of. Um, I don't know what to call it. Let me, let me think. I, I have no creativity right now. Could be boring and just call it Big Bird. I mean... Yeah, I'm just gonna be boring. Tiny bird right now, but it'll be big bird eventually. But that's it. That's the spawn full now. Oh, I had more to put on. Man, all right, put it in here. I've been playing this for more than an hour, haven't I? I said like roughly an hour, but it's been more than that already. I was going to take speed elixir, but then I realized, like, it's probably going to cause more harm than good. Uh, because I have to put stuff on. And it usually is a hindrance if I do that. Okay. I can't believe I've almost caught up to the blueberries.
Ah, uh, yeah, that's gonna that's going to happen quite a bit. And again, I keep I gotta try and get out of this habit of going top to bottom. It has to be bottom up. I did it again. Stop. Bottom top. Bottom top. Bottom top. Bottom top. I just gotta... I gotta stop. It's one of those things right now. It's so late. I can tell myself everything I want, but like my brain is just almost at the point where it's like, go to bed. So many Blu-ray jams. Yeah, I mean... If I was playing a file where I wasn't trying to make things look nice, I probably would have put up, like, another shed and started making more jars. But, I mean, this is a file where I'm trying to make things look nice and play through the game, and I was reading dialogue and all that stuff, so... Just admittedly, this last year, it's just been about progression more than anything else because I've, I've kind of exhausted everything okay uh that looks okay all right I'm going to wrap up the month at least. There's one more day remaining, so I'll do that much. What am I aiming for goal-wise? Uh, the clock. That's pretty much it. And then that's the file 100% complete as far as Stardew standards go. But, I mean, the other thing is I need to make this farm and the other farm look good before I wrap up playing this. It's 10 million gold. So I'm at 8.5 now. And I guess I need like another million to be able to decorate properly. It's ambitious. I don't know if I'll get there, but we'll try. I may have to offset a little bit. I should have the Omni Geodes now. Still gotta go to the islands and all that stuff. Um, one sec. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Omni Jets. Wait, how many more do they need? Five! Crap. It's 15. Okay. Well, I don't have enough. But, I mean, it's not many left. Okay. Uh. I'm 
Okay, now I can use the elixir. Let's go. Ugh, still got a lot to do. I should be able to get it all done. I got it. Uh, get rid of gold and silver. That, that. Everything's fine. Wait. Uh, I need to sell some of these. Okay, that'll do it. Everything looks smooth and cohesive. <laughs> ah, it's been a journey to get to this point. Oh, the festival's on crap. I can't visit the trees. I'll just do it tomorrow. Or after the festival. I mean, this is the one festival that's kind of worth going to. Okay, that's not going to be done anytime soon. Alright, let's head to it. I don't have much time. The maze is different in this. I'll get a few of these. How do I heal the slimes after the witch curses them? Uh, you don't. You murder them and then start again, but you can put a... statue in the... the... I forget what statue it is. The name of it. But it prevents the witch from being able to do that in the first place. It's a statue you get from Krobus. It's like... Let me find out. I'm terrible with names. Krobus. The... Uh, wicked statue. That's what it's called. I think there's no new dialogue here. Oh wait, the maze is different. Yeah. Uh forget how this one goes. Wait, 
Wait, is this different again? How many versions of this maze do they have? Oh yeah, no, this... I don't think I've played this one. I might be wrong. I feel so slow without my haste. I had to know I was hungry. This looks delicious. Oh, why? I gotta go to Sam. I hit Laura. Joe, wake up. Where is this? It's like. Um... Ugh, geez, I hate this maze. I'm brute forcing it a little. So, Sebastian, please. I mean, not Sebastian. I always call him B Chester, but you know what? He looks like a Sebastian, but he's not Sebastian. I just think of, like, that name as being someone that fits that physique, like, just fashion model, but that's not, that's not him. I just call him the B Chipster, and I, I don't remember his name. Like, I know it's Elliot, but... It's just, I will have that slip. It's also, you know, 3 a.m., so you'll have to pardon the slip. What? I know that it's here and you have to go up, but where? Oh, there it is. Jeez. Ugh, this maze. Okay, and then we gotta find the way across. This is not very intuitive, it's, it's very trial and error. It's alright, time isn't progressing. I got three of them, so it is worth it. It's like that's sullies and it's money. <laughs> I wish I could use my my magic stuff and just teleport out of here, but I can't! Okay, um, please way out now. Where's the way out? I've just accidentally gone. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Ah, uh, now I have to go all the way back. There have been people trying to break into cars. Should have checked, but you can't be fucked. Yeah. I mean, if it happens again, maybe. Okay. 
Okay, let's get out of here. I need to go to the park real quick. Hey, I still got my move speed. Nice. Alright, so I did get to get here. And tomorrow I have to come here again. Because it's going to all vanish. This looks so good at night. I'm very proud of this. Just how it looks. Oh, I'm being greedy. I mean, what else am I going to do, right? Make every last second count. There we go. Okay. See ya, Laura. Alright. End of the season. We've arrived. I mean, I'm almost, it just means I have to make one million, which I think is going to get covered already by um, the wine that's going to come off how many days now? It can't be too far away. 20, okay. So it will happen. I will definitely hit the goal. to put this away. Just to realign everything, I am collecting the fruit. Oh wait, there's no fruit in winter. Okay. Still. It's just the outdoor fruit that I don't have to worry about anymore. Thank you. 
Ah. <laughs> Let's just keep finding them all. Alright. Oh yeah, I guess since I've made all the beehives that I want to make for now, I guess we'll probably sell the maple syrup. Not all of it, but most of it. That'll do. I'm going to the park to get the fruit real quick. There's always something to do here. do that. Gotta go get another one. I wish you could somehow set it to not do it. Okay. Ugh. Even if it meant putting an item around it. Or I did the 28th, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the thing is that's on the island, so it does matter. Those are permanent fixtures that I just keep accidentally messing with. I mean, if I was smart, I could rearrange it now so, like, it didn't do that, but, eh. It's just... Okay, there we go. I put speed grow on it, at least.
Yeah, I mean, since that is the... Let's just get these before they wilt. Okay. And get to the daily tasks. Still haven't done them. Look at all the eggs. I mean, not bad. I got messed of stuff done already. I got this? I think I did. Yeah, that's all good. All the fruit has been picked up, so it's all good. before it vanishes. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. I probably should have just gone straight ahead. Uh, it's fine. Got the second half of today to just go get more stone. to the haste potion once I'm in the cave. Another three Omni Geodes, and then those fish will be sorted.
Okay, nice. I think that's it. There might be one more. I'll get whatever I can find either way. things have been following me for a while. I should, should have dealt with them. I still managed to get, I reckon, 500 stone out of this. Ah, oh, it's crap. Ugh. It's alright, that thing's not gonna hurt me. Alright, well, I mean, in case it wasn't obvious, today is going to be the last day I play. It's a nice little stopping point, it's the wrap-up to the season. But yeah, I mean, I'll start ending the stream by saying, yeah, thanks for watching. It was fun tonight. Start of a long weekend, so it was good to unwind and play a bunch of different things. Uh, yeah, particularly if you were new to the stream, thanks for watching and checking out the content here. If you wanna find me elsewhere on the internet, YouTube's the best place to go. Uh, just search for this channel name on YouTube, you'll find it. There's a channel for highlights, there's another one for just archives, and another one where I'm doing YouTube shorts and the odd stream over there, so I hope you do check that out. Otherwise, yeah, I have a website, shambles.gg, that has links to everything in one convenient spot. Uh, I will return tomorrow at some point. I'll do more of this. Uh, I want to finish unpackaging, which is something I was playing earlier. So that's the loose plan for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm going to stream during the day. Even though I have it off, I'm probably just gonna, like, rest off and maybe work on some content. Um, but yeah, over the weekend we'll, we'll do some fun stuff. Um, I do want to try and have a go at, like, doing some drawing games with the regulars, assuming they're around, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear, otherwise I have some other stuff I can check out. Um, particularly Pizza Tower, looking forward to that one. That's... Coming out and it might be two days, it might be three days. It depends when it releases and in what time zone. So, that should be fun. I think that covers more or less everything I wanted to say. I don't know. But, you know, other than thanks again for uh, watching me and allowing me to play whatever I want. Because, yeah, it's... Uh... It's a nice flexibility that I know a lot of people don't have, and I appreciate anyone that sticks it with me, despite me maybe changing to a game that they might not 
be 100% into, you know, I, I do appreciate that. Makes it a lot easier to stream, believe me. Okay, we got like about 30 seconds before I have to go back. I think I got a decent amount of stone. I don't know how much, but... Okay, let's not make this a disaster. Yeah, 700 stone. That was, that's decent. Okay. I'm going to be greedy, chat. These fish. They must be happy. I'll make it to bed, don't worry. Ah, we're fine. <laughs> I completed that quest. Okay, and thus begins winter, but we'll pick this up next time. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, YouTubers, thanks for clicking the video if you're watching this replay later. And if you want to support what I'm doing here, the easiest way is just by clicking that thumbs up button. Let's the algorithm know that you're enjoying this content, and also lets me know that, you know, people are enjoying the stream, so I'll do more of it. Alright. And on that note, I'm going to go, uh, yeah, get some rest. So, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everyone. See you next time.